5 thou radius into our part. We're using an 80 mesh grit size, but our wheel supplier is yelling at us to use a 150 mesh grit size. We finally tried it and got horrific chatter. We keep telling him small grit wheels give us chatter. Is that true? And what should we do? The situation here is just like the situation with surface finish. If you want a certain surface finish, use a certain grit size. The same with the radius you're trying to put into your part. If you've got a part and it's got a certain radius that you need to put into that part, then you've got to have a certain grit size to pull it off. If you've got a small radius, you're going to have a hell of a time with big grits putting that radius into the part. So here's a typical situation. A company has been putting a 10 thou radius into their part. They've been using their 80 mesh wheel and things are going well. Then boss comes over and says, hey, you've got to put a 5 thou radius into this part now. Said, all right. So they tried to do it with their 80 mesh wheel. They have a tough time. So they say, all right, we're having a tough time. What can we do? Well, let's just dress the wheel real dull to get that radius in there. They do that. They pull it off. But they pay the price in terms of burn and chatter because they have a very dull wheel. So they say, okay, we want to put a certain radius into our part. How are we going to pull that off? What grit size should we use? And there's a magic diagram I pull out all the time at my customers. And I say, listen, tell me what your radius is. I'll tell you what grit size you should use. So if you want to put this 5 thou radius into your part, you should be using eh, 180, 220, somewhere around there, looking up in the chart and see what you should be using. And they say, oh, no, you're wrong because we're using an 80 mesh wheel and we're putting that radius into that part. So this, this chart is a bunch of nonsense. We're able to pull it off. And I say, OK, well, let's take a look at how you pull that off. Here's what you're doing. You've got a grit size that's too large. You're really not able to put that radius into the part with that big grit size. So what you're doing is, when you dress your wheel, your operator, he's a smart guy, he knows what he's doing, he's experienced with these things, he says, well, I can put these small radii into the part if I just dress the wheel real fine. So if you've got a single point dresser, or maybe a traverse disc, or a plunge roll, whatever it is, he changes his parameters. So let's say a single point, he just traverses real slowly. Ding, 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 ding. Takes a very fine cut. So, what he does is he takes those grits and what you might say he splits the grits. So he just kind of polishes them off to get that radius on the wheel. Then when he goes to grind with this very dull wheel, he's able to get that radius into the part, but his wheel is so dull that his normal forces are massive, which that gives him chatter, and it probably has a lot of uh, burn, because his tangential forces are going to be very big, which gives him high temperatures, has burn there, slows down his feed rates, which means longer cycle times, then maybe he can alleviate the chatter a little bit, but he's just got headaches all around. The smart choice is just use the right grit size, look in the chart, see what grit size you have, but then don't dress it the dull way, dress it sharp, something reasonable, something that gives you a reasonably sharp wheel. Start grinding, and what you'll find is you're able to pull it off in terms of getting that radius into the part. And you've got sharp grits. Sharp grits are going to cut well. They're not going to rub a lot. You're not going to have all those issues with chatter and burn that you had with the grit that was too big and dressed dull. So this is a change I make all the time. I do it a lot of the companies that are doing thread grinding, a lot of the companies that are doing gears, uh, any type of intricate radius and I say, listen, let's get you sorted out to say what is the radius you're trying to achieve or what is your pitch in your threads. Let's look up in the chart. What grit size should we use? That's the grit size we use. Then we'll dress the wheel appropriately and we'll find things just work out a lot better.